Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got Brave Steve a Polish Peppermint Bark in the Park. I started off with Glitter Be Gone and here is Brave Steve a Peppermint Bark in the Park. And here we go. We're going to hop on into it. I'm going to start off with my first coat of this beautiful Crelly and it's full of little tiny red glitters and metallic flakies, green flakies. Perfect name for this polish. Love it. Excellent formula on this one, by the way. It is so, so pretty for this time of year. I'm really liking being able to wear some lighter colors. I've been wearing a lot of dark stuff, so, um, you know, liking it. Here we go. We got a break Woody out. He, he ain't getting a break today. And as you can see on my ring finger, I have a splinter jammed up under my fingernail, so just pardon that. I tried to get to it and couldn't, and I wasn't going to dig. Just leave it alone, let it grow out. Capping my tips. And bring Woody back, I'm sure. Yep, yep, there he is. I knew he was coming. I could feel it. I love this polish, and I love how well the little glitters and the flakies distribute you know I'm not having to fuss with them or wiggle them around or nothing they're just uh, they're just perfect and as it dries down as the polish dries down those flakies just kind of float to the top a little and just look so pretty so so nice so here we go. We're going to go in with our second coat of Peppermint Bark in the Park. And this is a two-coater for me. You know, um, depending on how you do your layers, you might need two or three, or you might be able to get away with one. I'm not really good at that getting away with one thing. I'm just in love with this one. Very nice, very nice. And I'm sure there are other companies out there that make things like this, but I didn't have anything like this in my collection. And when I saw the pictures on um, Instagram and, um, yeah, it was Instagram, I, I just knew I had to have it. Had to get back on that nail, you stinky little thing. Just talking about how great it was. And it is great, but, you know, that's minimal fussing with it. That's probably the best glitter polish I've ever played with. To have to mess with just one is easy. I just really think this is a great combo. There you have it. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to top this one off with some posh top coat. I'm going to get it to dry down so I can, you know, stamp, of course, and overdo it once again, you know. Um, maybe one day I will learn, you know, about these accent nails. I mean, I do give it a try every once in a while, but I normally just go crazy. Stamp them all. Today I'm going to be using Beauty Big Bang number 14 and the Sally Hansen Insta Dry Polishes from the Crayola Collection, Granny Smith Apple and Wild Strawberry, my Conad Scraper and Stamper. And I'm going to do this not so much like a gradient. I'm kind of wanting more straight lines. But I want Santa to be red, and I want the trees to be green. I mean, I know it's winter and they're really not green, but they are in my world. <laughs> that one didn't pick up so well, so we're going to do this again. I'm going to clean this plate off with some acetone and a cotton ball, and we're going to try this again. And I've already seen the end of the movie, so I know it works out. So we're going to go in with that Granny Smith apple and the wild strawberry, trying to line them up. And trying to keep it from gradient, I just want a good swipe over them to scrape that plate. There we go. That image picked up really nice. And I'm going to line Santa up near the cuticle and stick that on that nail. And we're going to do this again for the other nails. I really do love these Sally Hansen polishes for stamping. They have been moved from my collection to the stamping part of my collection and I mean I know they're there if I want to wear them just as a straight up polish but they stamp like a dream so they needed to live with my stamping polishes there we go I think we've got three down two to go 
clean that plate off again. I do like to clean the plates off in between images. Sometimes you'll see me just skip it and just plop some more polish and scrape and go. But I really do find that if I want a good clean image, then it's better to just clean that plate every time. And there we go. Santa's on the ring finger. I'm going to clean it off again. Dun, 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 dun. And I did this speed this video up. I don't want you all thinking that I just am that fast. I, I'm not an old lady yet, but I'm working on it. And I don't move that fast. So, you know, I do speed things up just so that my videos aren't insanely long. There we go. I'm going to do a little bit of cleanup with some tape and it's coming up, the tape, the extra polish is coming up great with that tape. And I will do my normal cleanup with my cleanup brush because I have to. I just have to go through all the steps. And I'm going to top this one off with some posh top coat today. There's that Santa. I hope you enjoyed this one. I really did like it. I was pleased with how it turned out. Um, very, very, very Christmas-like. So there you have it. I would love to hear your thoughts on this one. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about it. There's my swatch photo. Pretty good. So thanks for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.